This is Crow99. And I'm playing some Crow Space for them. This is episode 1 of season 2. And the reason we're starting the series is because there was a major update that changed the whole mechanics for Crow mode. It is 0.24. And I'm just going to start a new world. I was actually in the middle of recording some another episode of the last series because it had been a little while. And I like, left and didn't do it for a few days. And the update came out, so I probably won't update upload that half episode of Going to the Moon. I never really got so far in that series, but besides that. By the way, you'll notice it says Sandbox, Science, and Career. Science is the old career mode. Sandbox is the old sandbox. And Career has new currencies. Now I'm just going to name the world uh, YouTube oh, Kavar. Career. Yeah, so there are three currencies, if you can call them that, or one of them really is currency. There are the old science, which you'll know from other, from the old versions, or if you know the curl space program in general, I'll explain that as I go. And notoriety. So what that basically means is um, I'm just going to pause this while this loads and then continue on with notoriety. And I'm back, so I just, I just realized that the recording was stopping this from loading, it just took a second effort. So, you notice these three bars, now the science here, which is nice and convenient, you don't need to go to R&D to check that anymore. Next, notoriety, as I believe it's called. Notice there's this light blue area where this arrow is, yellow on left, green on right, and you notice that it says negative 2.5. You probably can't see that if you're watching on a smaller screen than I have, and lower quality, or just know that's negative 2.5 in the yellow. It's positive 2.5. So this happens. Say you're on a flight, and it explodes, and the Kerbal dies. That lowers your notoriety. Say you do fly, and he survives. That is it. Now, there's one other way that you can increase or decrease your notoriety. The main effect it has is, say it's higher, you're more likely to get new contracts, which I will explain in a second. Now, on the left are funds. I currently have 10,000 funds. I may refer to them as dollars because that's the currency I use. But, um, you, if you've played Curl Space Program, you may have noticed, and I'm just going to go into the vehicle assembly building service, that all the things have a price. No, the price never meant anything before, unless you were just keeping track of how efficient you were, but nobody did. But, look at this. So, on the bottom left of this little icon, it says 600. And that means what you expect, 600 funds. Now, say I place this down, see? Down here on the left, this little orange button symbol says 600, and the screen now says how much I have. So right now I'm using 600 funds out of my 10,000 funds I have. Now, um, everything, of course, has a price, 325, 850, 425. Now, you have to make sure not to go over the funds limit, because then there will be a little thing that says you cannot launch this, you don't have the funds. Now, there are two ways to get funds. Now you start off with 10,000, but, and this is the real big change, like bigger notoriety and all this. Let's, oh, also, up here, it says contracts. You notice this little building missing control you previously could not click on, and ta-da. These are the contracts. So these are th objectives that you have to complete, and when you complete them, you get things. So here, the objective, it first says perceived, that's just an indicator of how difficult the game thinks it is. What you have to do, launch a new vessel, incomplete, and what you get. Now the advance is 1,000 agents. 35, that's how you get when you just take it. It's like a Kickstarter. Now, like if you invest or whatever. <coughs> you get that to build the ship to do that. If you complete it, you get 4,587 funds, a bit of science, and a bit of notoriety. The main thing you get out of these is the um, funds. Now, if you go on a mission and you fail this, while well, you have it active, which you can do by accept or you can't decline it unless you accept it, you lose 2,000. That's the same for all of these. Oops, I can't click there. Oh, nope. There it goes. <coughs> so yeah, as I said, the main reason for this is the funds, which are very central, I'll say, to all this. Got what are, what's active, which archives. Now, um, let's start with launching the vessel, which is the most basic. 
Let's set an altitude of 5,000 meters. I'm pretty sure I can do that. And we'll be efficient because the second way to get funds other than a contract is recovery. So say you launch a ship and it lands safely with a parachute. And you get back the price of all those materials. So the command module, when you get it back, you get 600 back. Although it's not just 600 because um, the way it works is there's a percentage you get back, which I'll explain later, so you don't necessarily get back 100%. But just to, for simplicity, remember you get back the price of whatever you put in. And the fuel, um, however much fuel you bring back, you also get money. So if you burn up all the fuel, you won't get back as much money. So there is now a legitimate reason to conserve fuel other than more delta V. So um, this is here. Let's put down this parachute on you. And a bit of this. I'm guessing I'll need about three fuel tanks. You can see the price is going up with everything cost. LV230. I hope this is enough. I don't want to fail it on the first one. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go really safe here. Really safe. I do not want to lose this. I'm going to go in another fuel tank. Oh, I don't need this, and I know I don't need it, but... Oh, gosh. Alright. First ship. <laughs> And let's save and launch. Alright, I'm back. You may have noticed I forgot to do this. Yes, this is the staging. Let's see if you know anything about Code Space Program. You may notice I just like, completely blew this off. If you don't know, this is what happens in order. So I press spacebar, the liquid rocket, and the two solid rockets fire. Press it again, all the parachutes go. Got a good job of that here. Oh! This is the other thing to think. So, you notice there's four tabs instead of just the thing you click, then you can click on resources or whatever to show. There is this, which shows your funds, notoriety, and science. I have zero of notoriety and science. This shows your fuel, pretty useful. Your active contracts, as you can see, achieve an altitude of 5,000 and launch a new vessel. And the contracts I have completed. This one, I'm well, not sure about it. I feel like it's kind of inefficient bit, whatever. So, gonna keep an eye on the fuel here. Okay, maybe not. And launch. Oh, here we go. And once I reach five, okay, launch a new vessel. You'll notice I now have 11,000, whoops, 11,814. And you'll notice that, um, I'm gonna start, that little note, uh, this notoriety bar is just barely to the right of the zero, barely anything. I got five signs. Oh, while I'm doing this, I feel I should... Eh, no, I'm not going to do a quick part. Alright. So, I'm just going to end in a second. Yeah, I can definitely reach 5,000. I'm just about to reach 3,000, and I'm just about halfway through my fuel. No, not even that. Look at my liquid fuel. Got plenty. I'm going to tilt a bit to the left, because I don't want to land in water. So should I? I know, I can guess myself. I know which is more dangerous, I forget. I haven't played this in... Well, I've played this a lot recently, actually. I've been playing for hours and hours since this update came out. Just, well, since I found out about it yesterday. But, whoops. No, 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 don't go out of control. No, no, no. No, no, ho, oh. ho. Oh, no, 5,000 meters. That's good. Stay in control. Stay in control. I don't want to run in the water, so I'm going to burn to the left. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I get that. There's your... No, I'm going to save money on fuel. Save the SAS. Launch a new vessel. Look how much fuel I have. What's that? Well, at least two thirds of it. I have a lot of momentum. Slowing down. Just gonna pause the recording for a second because you really don't need to see this. Just, just there. So I've decided to get a crew report from up here because I want to kind of jumpstart my science production. Oh, okay. I'm gonna land in the water. Please don't break apart. You know what? I 
the other thing is so that at the very least kind of try to land on land, land on land, yeah. Don't want to burn upwards, want to burn sideways. Fine with LBT30, which is what I have first tech level, so there's no vectoring. I give up, I don't have the control. Oh, I can pause and start with going when I land. Okay, let's see if I land safely. Going just at the limit, and I think I might lose that engine. Oh, Snapple. Did I seriously? Oh, gosh, I lost everything. This is why you want to land on land. Water is really destructive because in the dunes, um, in the controller or whatever, whenever you, um, land, whenever anything is pushed into water, it's destroyed. Oh, gosh, that's annoying. That was really expensive, all that. I wanted to show off my brothers, and it's just destroyed. Oh, I hope that's not too bad. 8.5 signs. That's not, that's not great. Let's see. Wow, 1,000. How much did I spend? Like 3,000 on it? No, oh, see, that's what I mean. So, um, 3 kilometers from the Kerbal Space Center. That's 97.9% .9 value. If you're at the KSE, it's 100%. And it gets lower and lower the farther and farther away you get from the KSC. So, oh, I don't know what it is on the other side of the planet. I assume it's still some percentage, but that's supposed to be harder to recover it, like, in real life. But, yeah, it's not a huge problem if you're landing close. Oh, look, double I come and survived. So, basically, these are the three things. This is science, funds, notoriety. Oh, see, 20, plus 25 reputation. Notice this is just tipped just into the green and a 47 overall. Okay, let's see if I got enough science. I believe the first one was like 5 or 8 or something. 5, yep, 5. Ooh, too much. Let's see what I got. Not much of anything. Well, decoupler. I'm really annoyed that I managed to lose that. Okay. Oh, so there's a few different things. There's the main stuff like orbit curve and, and state of the atmosphere, so altitude of like 11,000 meters. These are meant to move you along in the game. And then there's side tests like test our TR 18A stack to cope the lander that curve in, and stuff like this. So this one's a real easy one. I You just have to get on the launch, launch pad, not launch pad, launch pad, and activate this. Yeah. And if you don't have the part unlocked, it'll give you an experimental version that you can only use when you're when you have that quest active or um contract that is. I like not every mission has to be going very cheap and does it? No, it does not. Um Hmm. I wonder if I can do this yet. I can definitely do this. I've gotten in on the second tech level all the time. And if I can do that, then I can do this. Not sure if I'm ready to orbit, and I don't want to have the damage. So if I can make a ship that does orbit or get close to it, all the better. <clears throat> Let's just start a new ship. Okay, always put on a parachute. So something that's changed about this because you want to get as many parts landing on the ground as possible is that normally you'd have a fairly